Okay, I've been debating on how to make this video for a while. Uh, three minutes doesn't seem to be enough to cut it, because uh, there is a lot to go down on the loadout. So I'm probably going to do a part two, bear that in mind. Uh, I'm going to do it in reverse, so the gear is on first. So if you have a low attention span, you can see exactly what it looks like. Uh, I'll do some spins and all that shit for you. Um, I've been taking the helmet on and off because I filmed this twice before. And my hair's a mess, my beard's a mess, I've no gloves, but... And this is what it looks like all on. Technically, this is what it looks like all on. There we go. So, Chris Vector is a primary. WE uh, Dark Dragon is a secondary. Spare Max. that works for you. I don't know if this angle works for you. I think that's supposed to make it look like a spacesuit kind of thing. Yeah. Let's break it down. Primary, Chris Vector, EEG, licensed and distributed by Chris um, and Crytac. A really, really, really old WE Dark Dragon High Capper. Uh, yeah, nothing more to say about that. Relatively reliable, really old. Still got all the green from back when I didn't have my Yukara. I love it. Sentimental. And of course, mags for the respective weapons. Onto the gear itself. Of course, the thing that everyone's asking about ah, the SRU Precision Type 3 Bump Helmet Hazmat looking expanse Call of Duty looking helmet. This is 3D printed, anti fog lens. It comes in three lenses brown, dark, which is this one, and clear. The fans are in the helmet and the cables come out the back and it's not that loud and you can turn them off when you want. Just a regular balaclava, nothing fancy. Next up is a Viper Tactical Hood, originally designed so you could put ghillie material through it but this thing looks cool and I wanted this to make it look like a semi airtight hazmat uh, suit. Stay tuned, like and follow for part two.